We all love data. It's almost as though IT couldn't function without it. So much so, we go to great lengths to collect data about our systems, services, clients, and much more. But what about those Linux servers in your data center? What do you do when it comes time to collect data about those systems? You turn to SOS Report. Let's install and use this handy data collecting tool. SOS Report should already be installed on your distribution. On the off chance it isn't, here's how to add it. Open a terminal window. Issue the command sudo apt-get install sos report y When prompted, type your sudo password. Allow the installation to complete. You might also want to install the tree command for easier viewing of the reports with the command sudo apt-get install tree y The basic usage of sos report is the command sudo sos report. To view the contents of that report, you'll want to move the file, change the ownership of the file, and uncompress it. Do that with the following commands. sudo move slash temp slash file name dot tar dot xz tilde forward slash, where file name is the exact name of the file. sudo chown dollar sign capital user dot dollar sign capital user file name dot tar dot xz where file name is the exact name of the file. tar xvf file name dot tar dot xz, where file name is the exact name of the file. cd file name, where file name is the exact name of the newly created directory. To find out what plugins are enabled and disabled, issue the command sudo sosreport l. Let's say you see the Apache plugin is available but not enabled. To enable that plugin, you'd issue the command sudo sos report dash dash enable dash plugins apache. Now say you only want to generate a report for the Apache plugin. Do this with the command sudo sos report dash o apache dash dash batch. Now let's view that report with the following commands. sudo tar xvf slash temp slash filename.tar.xz, where file name is the name of the file, sudo dash s, cd slash temp slash file name, where file name is the name of the newly created directory. View the hierarchy of the files with the command tree.